anti-Chinese sentiment was like the air whites breathed in British Columbia. It, it just was unquestioned. It's not something that needed to be expressed. Mm -hmm. And it existed in, in, Ch in Chilliwack. There were some who recognized, like the Evans family was unusually sympathetic and perceptive about the contributions of both the local Stalo and the Chinese. The McCutcheon family as well. Uh, John McCutcheon was the one who sold the land that was Chinatown North to the Chinese. And his granddaughters uh, remembered going there as children and being guests of Wang Yipshi watching the New Year's celebrations. And you do have truly affectionate feelings develop between um, uh, families and the domestic nannies and so forth. But by and large, it was a, a very negative attitude towards Chinese, not negative, r flat out racist. The city wanted to get the Chinese buildings outside of city limits. And so from, when they succeed, and that Chinatown North is outside of city limits. When they succeed, they kind of cut back on, on the raids. Just before and after the First World War, you have a huge population influx. So by that time, the farmers could get laborers elsewhere. And that's when you start having the campaigns against Chinese farmers as competitors. It was the Chinese farmers who had first cleared the land and, and, the, and the white farmers had gone into this tenant agreement thing with them to then put potatoes in. So they had done this deal. And then after the First World War, it said, look, we can't do this anymore. We, we are making a commitment as farmers not to lease land to Chinese, people, to Chinese farmers. We have to be you know, a white industry. 